Today we're looking at a John Deere 730, 53 horsepower on the drawbar and 59 on the PTO. This particular 730 was made in 1961 and we acquired the tractor in 1985. It had been left outside for a number of years with no cover over the exhaust and the engine was seized. We pulled the head off, cleaned the bore, freed up the pistons and rings and were able to get it running again. I used this tractor for a number of years to spray cereal crops. It pulled a 60 foot boom spray with a 500 gallon water tank. I did uh, put new rings and bearings in the tractor at this stage as well. It was a good tractor for spraying as you could sit tall and had a good view all the way around. The 730 has powermatic steering and can easily be steered with one finger when you have a few revs up. At one stage I had a forklift on the front of the tractor and used it to load round bales of hay onto trucks and also uh, lifted machinery around the Okay, yard. let's take a walk around. This particular 730 has 23.126 20, tyres and you'll notice uh, they've expanded the rims here by about 4 inches. The 730 came out with the option of uh, pilot motor start or electric start with a starter motor. This particular John Deere has got uh, the starter motor. Drives out here onto the flywheel. You can see in here the starter motor, it's a fairly heavy duty unit. Now let's walk around the back. So you'll see that it has dual hydraulic remotes here. And up here we've got the hydraulic leader. Let's climb up and have a look from the operator's seat. So straight away you can see the tractor's got six gears. Down here beside the, the gears is the foot decompressor. So when starting the tractor, uh, you turn the ignition on, step on the decompressor, turn the power to on, press the button, and away she goes. Okay, we've got two uh, turning brakes, one on either side, obviously. Down here, we've got the lever for turning the power takeoff in gear. So you don't normally have the power takeoff engaged at all times so that you can maximize horsepower. So you only turn that to the live position when you need the power takeoff. And here, these pedals are the power takeoff clutch pedals, or clutch brake pedals. So up here, you've got the stop button. So to stop the tractor, you pull the stop button out, pull back on the throttle, and that locks it in the stop position. Up here, obviously, got, uh, the taco, which gives you hours and uh, speed, uh, fuel gauge, water temperature, and amps. And obviously, we've got the hand clutch. So let's start it and see how she runs start it we push the throttle forward and the stop button releases and slides in turn ignition to on foot on the decompressor and press the starter button 